Hello, welcome back to Control. Uh, what's this music? Uh, okay, there was nothing up around here. So we'll just go straight here. Please stop. A spade of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Bat, where bureau agent discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at blank blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the, ar in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house blank days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the butt home was closely disappeared during this incident. Alright, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. You can. God, no local doctors examine them first. Honestly, what the odds an alternate item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. You think it was him? The flying one? Energy boost, let's see. It's over here. Here. Yeah. Oh, I can just Okay, just the back panel. The hotline can't be far now. Can't it? Mm -hmm. With all the changing going around. I'm fairly sure it can. Hmm. Oh, there's another document. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the bat home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual, C file MOT101. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of Holmes' owner and the other locals of but have been attributed to the light switch guard. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Batte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, blank light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the blank and blank sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is blank. But initial hypothesis center on the bat AWE is a blank. Oh, one. Okay, all the visitors must check in. Okay, I'm going. I'll answer in a bit. Yes. Wait, what? Have we been here before? No. 
Look at that display. A lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. <laughs> And the inverted pyramid is closed. Hello? I think I heard it. Yeah. There's nothing over here, right? Can't seem to be able to use my powers there. Oh, another door opens. Okay. I think he had this. That's. He has a black pyramid on it. And this is our key. Okay, but how is the phone going to be helpful during the trial? I can contact it. Whoa. Okay, how? I don't want to contact them. Yes, we just run. Okay, please follow me. Well, it says that it will allow me, not that it is going to allow me now. I don't call my mother that it often. A phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. Mm. I need to get back to Emily. 
Yeah, my head's admin that was way too cryptic. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Oh, that's... wait. This is a shortcut. Should be a shortcut. Oh, they cleared out the... To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operations of exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the US Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us, as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Regards. Okay, let's see. Oh, so those are the echoes. Okay. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Object is a 1960s era red backlight telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs blank. The object allows the director to communicate with the blank. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal blank. The object is currently bound to director trench. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director North Moore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including blank and blank, but its origin remains unknown. Oh, why, what? Okay, for some reason it... Mm. Line AWE report... Uh, into the central executive if I remember correctly, yeah. And now we can get it. Now it's clearance level. Four. Oh, hello. Fine. There's the boardroom. There's level one. Yes. That is very nice. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call this individual paraotilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the paraotilitarian. Using the blank object of power as an example, some paraotilitarians can achieve a full distance of blank, while others can are only capable of as little as blank. What exactly determines the individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some blank exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the North Moore records, considering he is one of the most accomplished para utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. And there's, I think that's all we can find. Oh, that's a nice photo of a dog. Is there full damage? I'm not gonna check it. Maybe after a save. Hello, Emily. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Yeah. Let's talk. Of course. 
Now, first of all, I want to see this. Initial encounters with the entity known as the His have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the His is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been uh, distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the his. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other his that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organism of the his corruption. We tested this ability on a his corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes really reliant on the his. More work to be done. Refer to file blank for full report. Oh, you little. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trent is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If... You agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. And okay, I guess we can talk. <gasps> we can upgrade new. Yeah. Okay, first of all, I want to talk with her more because it seems she has something new to say. Uh, origin of the. No, oh, we've been through all of that. Why would you lie to me like that? <laughs> sure, I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Don't lie to me next time, please. Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? I don't hear it right now. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Objects up to 20 feet. Oh shit. 
We never recorded any distance over five. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Health, definitely health. And we have level four, okay. Yes. And we energy, melee damage, launch damage. That might be useful. Uh, for now, I want more health. Ooh, ooh, additional weapon form slot. Okay, Astra constructs weapon forms. We need 5,000 of those. Okay. We have everything else, seems. Uh. Okay, I don't quite understand what that does. I think we just can't. Okay, upgrade. We need one threshold remnant. Oh, let's see our outfits, nothing else. I thought we gained one. I mean, over there. Wait, which elevator? Search for way into the maintenance sector. Oh, there's the elevator. Acti! Sure. Uh, maintenance. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Okay, I'll trust you on that. Cause you seem to trust him. Damn, this game looks good. Man. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It oh. felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. I think Is Ati guiding me too? Maybe. But for now I think the not all of the place loaded up. So it's quite choppy. There is level two, we don't have that yet. Really though, what the hell is wrong with this place? Directorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? And there's lots of his in there as well. Man, show up. I saw you. They spawn. Gonna go, go down the ground. Okay, we need to need health. Nope. Can you? Me. I'm glad I took the extra health. No, 
mental and it heals us. Okay, so we won't go over there. Yeah. The only way is through here. What the? Why is it so... Okay... I saw someone up there... Really? And he wasn't even hit! Heal. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Okay, open this up, please. With a ritual impulse. way down. I honestly have no idea why it acts like this here. What's down that way? I don't know. Yeah, I wanna see. What the fuck? I don't mind. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? It fell. A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Can we evade with air? Yep. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Okay. It will probably find a way to keep up, so don't worry about that. Damn it, it's so bright. I saw the floor collapse before. <laughs> Even before I got to it. Okay, allow me to get that. And I think I'm gonna take a little break. Now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!